Hello, good morning everyone. Happy Monday. Good morning. Hi teacher, good morning. You want to share your favorite emoji to show how you're currently feeling this fine morning, this Monday morning, September 28th. We'll get started here in just one second. Today we're going to do a uh, listening uh, some practice with TOEFL listening, as we've done in the past. For those of you who want to listen to the recording onto your computer, if you want to download the, com the audio to your computer and listen to it from your computer, you may do so now. I just uploaded the MP3 uh, file. So go to Files in our Listening and Speaking class under general under files for under the temp folder it's called TOEFL listening three so I would go ahead and start downloading that to your computer if you want to download it and listen to it from your computer I'm going to as we've done in the past I will broadcast the audio in class as well okay we'll start about 8 15 and I'll give you some time here to get set up if you're going to choose to download the file. I've included the link to the TOEFL review in Microsoft Teams. So go ahead and open up the link if you can. And you should have access to the, to the questions at 8.15 in about another 15 minutes. But you can go ahead and open up the link onto your computer. Get that set up. We're going to do two activities. Part of uh, one activity is going to be some practice with TOEFL. The second will be with our teams, and I'll explain. I'll explain that a little bit later. And while we're waiting. See how many folks we have this morning. 26. All right. Um, while we're waiting, we still have a few minutes here. I'd like to take this time to listen to our first song. I chose Blackbird. I think that was Lisette's song. I don't know if she's here yet this morning. But I'm going to share my screen. And let me try this one more time. Make sure I share the audio, otherwise you won't be able to hear this. And I'll pull up the lyrics as well. Hopefully you can see my screen and hopefully you can hear the audio. So let's uh, take a few minutes here and listen. It's a short song. How many of you heard uh, the song Blackbird? Go ahead and activate your microphones if you want. Of course, you can post in the chat. How many of you have heard the song? No, did you? No, first time? No, yes. Okay. Yes. Does, does anyone, I guess you could tell from the video, the the name of the group? First time, okay. Beatles. The Beatles. Beatles. Absolutely. Any idea what year this song came out? The the original song. Featured. I I hear a lot Beatles, but 
I haven't heard that song. No, you haven't heard. Okay. This is this was one of their really popular songs. It's a really nice nice song as you can well, I guess if you're into this type of music. But what um any idea what year this song first came out? Like this uh, this uh, version of Blackbird that we just heard this morning because this was the original version. Any uh any ideas? Any ideas? Maybe in the like 1960. Yep. Came out about 1968. 1968. Yeah, Let It Be. All right, the the album Let It Be, Yellow Submarine. Yep. Yeah, the Beatles. They had a lot of big hits back in the day. You gotta love the uh, the Blackbird sing the uh, singing in the background of the song, right? Pretty funny. Here we have a list of videos of all the different versions of Blackbird. If you're curious, this is uh, Paul McCartney. He actually wrote the song. He was a member of the Beatles. What do you guys think this means? The blackbird singing in the dead of night. I mean, what do you think this song is about? Any ideas? Mm, I know it is about black people. Okay, go go ahead. What do you think? I think if when someone passed away, that bird is singing at that moment. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else have any ideas? Uh, me. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Well, I am uh, a big fan of the Beatles, and I know Paul, my, Paul write the song because he wants to all the black people can be free. And he is actually uh, like taking Blackbird. But he's not thinking about a lot of people. He's thinking about the black people. Okay. Yeah, especially at that time uh, in the 60s. Unfortunately, currently also, I think we can relate to minorities, um, blacks, African Americans are having major problems, having a lot of problems with defending their rights, having uh, equality that applies to them, to their lives, right? But I certainly see Paul McCartney writing about this in the 60s because this was a big, big deal as well in the 60s, unfortunately. Any other comments or the meaning, any other thoughts that come to mind, even more generally? Maybe this, another uh, metaphor. What's the metaphor here? The metaphor is... The blackbird singing in the dead of night. But what's the literal meaning more generally? How else could you communicate this meaning overall? Any other ways to do it? Take these broken wings and learn to fly. We're only waiting for this moment to arise. Any any other ways to communicate this idea of the overall meaning of the song? It is like to to have good attitude or to learn to live, even when there is like a cow in our life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we can. You know, we've been facing a lot of challenges recently, and. A lot of bad things are going on with health, and we all have a lot of concerns about that. But this song, to me, says speaks to we take and we try to turn something negative into a positive, right? We try to 
make the best of the situation and try to turn something positive from something that maybe was a challenge or difficult for us, right? This is a great song, guys. If you like this song, check it out. It's all over YouTube. It's all over the internet. Great song. This was uh, Lisette's choice. Good, good choice, Lisette. Very good song. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for sharing that, and uh, we'll we'll listen to another song tomorrow. Um, all right, guys, it's 8.14 in about one minute or less. We're going to, you should have access to the online questions. I'm going to pull up now the audio. I'm going to play just a second. If you can tell me, if you can hear the audio, please, just to make sure that we're all ready to go here. All right, guys, I'll give you a few minutes. Make sure every uh, question has been answered and go ahead and hit the submit button if you haven't already done so. If you guys go into Microsoft Teams where I shared the link for today's TOEFL review, I uploaded some key vocabulary from today's uh, listening. So I want you to take a look at some of these keywords. Of course, Try to become familiar with these words. Um, there's a couple of phrases I'd like to ask you about. Okay, one of the phrases that they mentioned in today's audio was, it goes without saying. It goes without saying. What's another way of saying this phrase? It goes without saying. What do you think? Like, obviously. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like saying, obviously. Exactly. Right? Obviously, it goes without saying. So, you'll hear this. It's a very common phrase, and it does mean the same thing. When you say, obviously, though, obviously is a little bit stronger than saying, it goes without saying. It's almost like a gentle way of saying, obviously. It does have the same meaning, but obviously is kind of strong. It's almost like you saying, well, obviously, like everybody should know this. What's wrong with you, right? It's, it's, it's kind of that strong. When if you say it goes without saying, it's a gentle way of saying, well, I know all of you already know this. It's like saying that. I know all of you already know this, but blah, 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 blah. It goes without saying. So it's a really good phrase to use when you want to generally say, gently say, well, obviously, or you guys already know this, it goes without saying. Another phrase, let's see, there was another one here that, okay, so, uh, they used the phrase never caught on, something never caught on. What do you think that means? What's another way or a literal way of saying never caught on? Any ideas? Something never mm -hmm. caught on. What do you think? These are idiomatic expressions. It's their figures of speech. Or if you want to think of it as a metaphor. What do you think? Caught on is a phrasal verb. Phrasal verbs are idiomatic. They're like slang. Sometimes they're really difficult in English because we have so many phrasal verbs. If I say, what's the meaning of throw up? Throw up. If you say, Mike went to a party last night and he drank too much. Because he drank so much, he threw up. Past it tense. Is, uh, in Spanish, it means uh, vomitar. Uh huh. And what's the English word? It's almost the same. The literal verb, the literal word. It's almost the same in English.
What's the what's the meaning of to throw up? The the literal meaning. It's almost the same in, in English as it is in Spanish. What do you think? It's the same. It's basically it's the same word. Nobody wants to say it. Vomit. That's right. To vomit. <laughs> That's right. Vomit. But vomit is kind of like maybe gross, right? Somehow throw up sounds better than <laughs> I guess than vomit. Right? But throw up. Why throw up? Well, who knows? Throw means right to throw a baseball. What we're throwing it up in the air, right? It doesn't even it hardly makes sense. It doesn't make sense. Why throw up to mean vomit? Well, it just that's that's what it means. So to caught to catch on, to catch on, something caught on in the past tense, right? Cell phones have caught on. What does it mean? Like to say I didn't know, know that. All right. Oh, I didn't, uh, no, I didn't notice it. You didn't notice it. Uh, let's let me give you another example. Let's say uh, what's something that has caught on mm, emojis over the last ten years have caught on. What do I mean? Emojis have caught on over the last ten years. What's the literal meaning? To catch on means to become popular. Means to, to become popular. Emojis have caught on. That means they have become popular. If I say, um, what's something that hasn't caught on? What's something that hasn't caught on? Mm. Blackberry phones. You may not even know what a Blackberry phone is, but it used to be really popular. Blackberry phones never caught on because today they're not very popular. No one uses them. Probably few people have even heard of Blackberry phones, maybe. Right? They're not they didn't catch on like iPhones. iPhones caught on big time. Big time means a lot. Okay? Idiomatic expression. So in the listening, the TOEFL listening, you're gonna hear some of these idiomatic expressions. Uh, let's do one more. Well, there are actually two more. Well, one is uh, it didn't balloon. Let's do the colors bleed. Colors bled together. Something bleeds together. What does that mean? Or they bleed into each other. To bleed. What's the literal mean meaning to bleed? The verb to bleed comes from the word blood. Sangrar. Uh -huh. Sangrar. Right. To bleed. Now, if I say the colors bleed together, it's not literal, right? It's impossible, right? Because colors are not people. People bleed, literally, right? It's like they understand each other. But in this case, or what do you think I this means if, if, the, if the subject of the sentence okay. are colors? What do you think... How would bleed refer to the colors? What do we, what kind of uh, Im image comes to mind when you see colors in your mind? Colors bleed into each other. How would you literally say this? Colors bleed into each other. You probably have an image of what this means, but how would you explain it? Como que se combinan. Uh-huh. How? Like faith, teacher. I'm sorry? Faith. Uh, sorry, like I'm not... Like faith. Can you type faith. it? Faith. <laughs> no? say, say, say it again. Uh, let me put in the Yeah, chat. type it into the chat.
to bleed into each other. What do you think this means? And Okay, all right. So they fade. They fade into each other, right? That's right. They fade into each other. So they, they bleed into each other means that it's gradually, they gradually combine into each other or they fade. Fade is a good word. They combine, but it's not just that they combine. It's this image of bleed, meaning slowly, gradually coming together, right? So imagine you have red on one side and blue on the other, and then they gradually come together, right, to form. All right, so to bleed, and let's back up, let's back up a bit. Let, one more. Some, uh, the teacher says to the students, okay, let's back up a bit. What does the teacher mean? Let's back up a bit. He's speaking in a lecture, and he says this phrase. Does he actually mean, okay, everybody get out of your seats and take two steps back? Probably not. That would be the literal meaning. If somebody tells you, hey, can you back up a bit? It could mean that. It could be literal. But in this case, what does the professor mean when he says or she says to the students? Let's back up a bit. Oh, well, let me explain you again. Right. Exactly. Let me let me repeat myself. Let me let me review something that I've already said. Right? This is a an informal way of saying, "Hey, let me back up a bit." And it's very short, but it means, "Hey, I'm going to say something that I've already said." All right, guys, take a look at the the list of vocabulary words that I have included in Microsoft Teams. I posted it underneath where I posted the review of the TOEFL exam. Please take a look at all of the vocabulary words. Of course, if you have some questions, try to look them up on your own. If you want to discuss these or have diff uh, additional questions about some of these words, um, you know, let me know. Now, one thing to remember, there are many words... Like, for example, I uploaded one word up here. Let's see. Spectral, I think was, or spectra. One word was spectra. But when you look at some of these words, try to find the other parts of speech for that word. Okay? You, you guys are reviewing parts of speech in your grammar class. Uh, different parts of speech of the same word Right? Let's take the word to bleed. To bleed is an infinitive. If I say, I bled, that's, that's a verb. She bleeds, I bleed, you bleed, we bleed, they bleed. That's a verb. Blood, what part of speech is blood? B-L-O-O-D. It, it is a noun. It is a noun. A noun. That's right. All right. So some of these words, when you review them, also make sure some of them can be uh, other parts of speech. Astronomers, astronomy, right? So we can look at different, the same type of word, but in different forms. Okay. So also when you look in the dictionary, you'll be able to find different forms of the same word. This will also help broaden your vocabulary to become comfortable with the same word, but in different, uh, as a different part of speech. All right, guys. Uh, the rest of today in our class, I want to give you uh, until 940 to complete the next activity. And this is really to finish our group activity that we completed last week. Most of the videos I uploaded, but there are still a few groups that I was not able to find your video. So please... Make sure that you've uploaded your final video to files under week five. And if you can title the video file something like final video or the title of your talk, something that helps me distinguish which file I need to upload. Today, I want us to evaluate. I want us to do a self-evaluation of of, our, of your performance. I want you as a team to talk about the points 
that we had on our list, and I want you to evaluate your performance. I'm going to upload a video right now that I want everyone to watch, and these are going to include the instructions of what I'd like for you to do today. And I'm going to upload those right now. I'm going to upload this to the General tab in Microsoft Teams. And so the first thing is to watch the video, watch it however many times you need to, to, to get the instructions and then break out into your teams and decide who wants to comment on, on what. And I've just now uploaded it to Microsoft Teams. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, watch the video. The video has the instructions, go into your breakout rooms and, uh, complete the task that I ask here in um, in Microsoft Teams. All right. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in, uh, in the chat. Uh, good morning. Good morning. I have a question. I didn't know how that, that we, we were gonna to like to do a performance. I thought it was going to be only the record. So if we're missing for that, um, I don't know. Can you explain me what are we going to do in that video? Okay. All right. So uh, are you referring to the video that I just uploaded or? Yeah. No, I already watched it. Okay. But in that video, I, I watched that you were talking about a performance that another teams were uploading it in on YouTube, but I didn't know that. I thought it was only the, the, the record, the audio. Okay. The, the, I'm not, let me see if I understand your question. W which group are you, uh, Tanya? And the poor one. Okay. And so let me just check here. All right, so you guys created your video, right? Well, the the record. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, and I is does your video appear in the playlist? It it should, no? Yeah, it's posted in Teams in our four Teams. Right, but it, it should also be. Let me double check here. I. Let me make sure that it's also in the playlist. Remember, we have a video archive playlist. And this is where you guys can find all the videos for, for this class. So I'm uploading all of your videos that you upload to Microsoft Teams. I'm uploading to our playlist. And so what and I like... Your, mm -hmm. Is your playlist in, on YouTube? Yes. Uh, oh, okay, teacher, okay. And, no, and, and then I'm looking here. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like it's uploaded. So I'm going to go ahead and upload your video right now, okay, to the playlist. Yes, sir. And, and then you should be able to access it in the, the playlist, right? In the It's called Video Archive in, in the General tab in Microsoft Teams. And that will give you the link. In fact, let me share the link to the playlist. Teacher, and another thing. Um, am I going to, to do on like my own video? Like by myself? No, you're gonna post a comment only. Oh. Yeah, just post a comment, yeah. just um, a line or two evaluating your performance. Uh, let's see. So you're gonna like uh, uh, write the link on the chat. Okay. Yeah, I just posted the the link to the playlist. This should take you to the the playlist where you can access all of the Video. all of the uh, videos. 
Okay. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and upload right now your video to the playlist because I don't think it appears right now, but I will upload it right now. Anyone else who needs for me to upload your video, please let me know now so that you can access it. Yeah, teacher. All right. But I have another question. Yes. Um, the videos that are posted in YouTube are the ones that are public or no, the all like of so far video. all of the performances, all the performance tasks I'm uploading unlisted, right? So no one can see them unless you share the link. Okay. So nothing, none so far. I don't think I've posted any public. I will after I double check the list for those who want it to be public. I'll change it. Um, but for right now, I'm just uploading everything as unlisted. Just so that oh, okay. I can quickly upload everything, so you guys have access to it. No, it's okay. It's just because my classmates were asking me um, if our video was uploaded in YouTube because I think we posted a uh, private, and they were saying that they thought that maybe the only ones that were posted on YouTube were the ones that were public. So that's why I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it looks like it. I mean, it may look like it's public, but it's 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 uh, unlisted. Um, I can't post it post it as private because that means only I can see it. But it's unlisted, so it doesn't appear in the search. And if anybody accesses my channel, nobody sees your video. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right, guys, I don't know how many are in the chat right now or listening. I'll talk about this again at the end of the class, but it uh, looks like we had some technical difficulties with the review, the TOEFL review. So what we'll probably do is uh, don't worry about it. Okay, we'll do it again on Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday at 8.15. Uh and we'll try again uh, to upload it. But for some reason, I had some uh, technical difficulties, and uh, sometimes this happens. Uh, but don't worry about it. Um, we'll, we'll try again on Wednesday, and uh, hopefully we won't have any technical problems. Um, I'm really just giving, at this point right now, uh, just giving you participation credit. If you participate, you get full credit. Um, it's not a quiz in that sense, okay? But obviously, I want to give you feedback and let you know how you're doing uh, on these uh, with these exams. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to give you that feedback because uh, I didn't get any responses. For some reason, there was a problem with the form in Microsoft Office. So I'm not going to be able to give you any feedback on this uh, quiz, on this review. It's not a quiz, on this review. So we're going to try again on Wednesday. We'll do another one on Friday. So we're going to have two reviews. Hopefully you'll get responses and you'll know how well you do. Later today I'm going to upload to, um, to Microsoft Teams a summary of how many questions correct you need to, uh, to get a certain TOEFL score. Okay, so I've been giving you percentages, 30%, 50%, 80% correct. But with that, I'll give you a, a chart so that you know what score that you would get from the listening. So instead of a percentage, you can convert it to, let's say, a 400 or a 350 or, or whatever. So you can have an idea what percentage of questions correct you need to get to, to achieve a certain TOEFL score, at least for the listening, right? This is going to differ from grammar and uh, reading, but it'll give you an idea for, for the listening, all right? So don't worry about today. It was just think of it as practice uh, with the listening. Uh, I'm not going to be able to give you your scores, but on Wednesday we'll try it again, and we'll do it again on Friday. Uh, so that you, again, get some practice with, uh, with doing the listening uh, exam. Okay? Uh, we'll keep, come back here at about 940.
to uh, leave some final comments. If any groups have not, or if your group, if you don't see your video in the playlist, let me know right now, or if you have questions so that I can upload it right now so that you can complete the team evaluation. If anybody has questions, of course, jump in and ask away. Okay, I see some requests here. I'm going to upload now Team 12 and Team 7. Teacher, yes. we are Team 2 and we have problems with the export of the video because it exports only one part and not the old parts of the four members of the team. All right, can I, uh, Team 2, can I just upload the video and then just edit out any dead space or or were you going to do but some major it is edits not complete. what's that it is not complete it uh, the recording yeah okay can you can you try to record ag again to try to get the whole recording or, or at least record what's missing and yeah can i upload but led later Yes, yeah, go ahead and try Which to upload I'll later uh, today and just let me know. Send me a message. If you can try to do the whole thing, it would be easier because that way I can just upload the final video complete. If you guys have dead space, I, I can always try to go back and remove any dead space. That's pretty easy. As long as you're not doing major edits, I can just use the recording that you create in Microsoft Teams. Okay, so... Go ahead and try this afternoon to uh, complete the video and just send me an okay. email when you finish, uh, when you've completed it. Okay. 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 So let me start with team 12. Go into your files. Week five. Okay. I see a it says final video. So. I'm going to change this to 12. We got team 12, we've got team 7. Okay, team 7, it looks like it says story. I'm assuming this is is this your no, final video. There's a folder, final video, together against COVID. Okay. So let me change this, group seven. And group, group one. Okay, so group one, uh, let's see. So this will be, can you guys tell me, is it uh, week five? Is that the name of the, the video? Is that the file that you want me to upload? Anyone from team one is listening? Alonso, I don't know if you can hear me. If anyone from Team 1 can let me know, I'm just asking about which file because I'm not sure which file you want me to upload. Yeah, I'm in week 5, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4 videos, one that's called week 5. Is that the file that you want me to upload? Uh, I think it is uh, It is final video. Uh, Alonso can say it because his mic is out so i think it is final video. ah final video i see it now okay it wasn't i was looking in team uh in week five okay so in the in the future guys try to keep everything in the folder that says what week it is just so that it get, keeps it fairly organized okay i think okay. now i have it here sorry that's all right we have your download. 
All right, so I'm going to upload now. We team 12, 7, and team 1. All right, guys, I'm uploading uh, team 12, 7, and 1. It's going to take just a few minutes for it to process because uh, it's not immediate. So you may want to check back in a few minutes. Um... All right, and let's go ahead, uh, just finishing up here, one second. All right, all right, so to conclude, guys, today we tried to get some uh, practice in TOEFL. Unfortunately, we had some problems. Uh, don't worry, uh, you're, you're not going to, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to receive feedback on how many questions you got right or wrong for today's practice, but we're going to do this again on Wednesday and we're going to do it again on Friday. So hopefully, again, we won't have problems with technology and you'll be able to receive uh, the percentage of questions that you got correct. Today, later today, I'm going to send, I'm going to upload a, um, a, a, uh, a sheet, a, a, a document that's going to show you how many questions you need to get correct to correspond with certain points for from the TOEFL. So you'll know how many percentage quest, of questions that you need to receive correctly to get, let's say, a score of 350 or 400 or 500 or, or whatever. All right, so that'll help, I think, if you use that and the percentage of questions that you get correct, you should be able to see what points that you'll get on the TOEFL for the listening section. Um, what else? Uh, today, the task is for you guys to do a team evaluation. Talk about the points that you worked on when you developed your, your, um, your performance, your video, and I want you to evaluate how well you you did. You can talk about things that you did well, of course, and you can also talk about maybe things that you could have done better. And make sure that when you share your reflection here, it's just all you have to do is upload uh, a, a brief comment in YouTube and include your name so that I know who is saying what. But make sure that you work it out as a team beforehand Who's going to say what so that you're not saying the same thing as your partners? All right. The videos um, that I've seen so far have been really good. All right. There's a lot of them are really visual. Uh, I like when uh, I see a lot of visuals and also as being able to see your, your faces in a lot of cases. Uh, that really makes, a, makes for a good video. All right. But we'll, uh, we'll look at uh, your self-evaluation uh, hopefully later today, if you don't ha didn't have a chance to do so in class, you can, of course, uh, do it after class. The last thing I'll say, some of you have mentioned that you have some questions or concerns maybe in other classes that you're taking, and I want to give everyone an opportunity, if you're interested, in Microsoft Teams and Lounge, I've uploaded a video where I'm suggesting if you guys have questions that you want to talk about and uh, if you want to schedule time to address some of your questions that you have in other classes, uh, take a look at this video. Take a look at uh, under files. There's a spreadsheet where you can post your questions and you can let me know if you want to meet online outside of class to address your questions. This is not required. Uh, it's it's uh, it's an option for those who uh, want to ask questions about maybe grammar or in your reading classes or culture classes. If you have any concerns and you want to reach out to me, uh, we can do it. I think this is the, the best way to do that. Okay? So check out the lounge. Check out the video where I explain kind of how I think it, this should work, right, so that we can be really structured and organized in how we can address some of your questions so that we get all of your questions addressed. Um, I think this will be the easiest way to do so. All right, guys, I know it's over. Uh, I'll let you go. 
Uh, continue to send me emails for those groups who I have not uploaded to the playlist. Please send me uh, a notification today so that I can go ahead and upload that so that you can begin your team evaluation. All right, guys, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You too. Take care, guys. Thanks, teacher.